Hello and welcome to ukrainemedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this weekly weather forecast. I'm going to show you how to bring in illustrator files, how to animate them, and how to link up all the data you see in here to an external JSON file like this one. And definitely what that means is this. We can make all the changes from this text file and it will automatically adjust the graphic in here. So for example, instead of New York, I'm going to change this right here. Instead of this New York, I'm going to change it to Boston. And then maybe temperature, we're going to take it up to 65. And uh, let's make it cloudy one, right? And then we can adjust all the other days. So each line of code represents each graphic here. So you can instantly change everything you want. Maybe instead of 23 right here, we can change it to 25. And then once you're done making all the changes, you can press Control S and go back to After Effects. And you can see it instantly changes everything. Very dynamic, super useful. So we'll go over that. I'll show you how to set it up. But not only that, we'll talk about master properties and how useful they are. I mean, essentially, you can create templates and use just one composition many times and change the data in them, and it will not affect that composition. Let me show you what I'm talking about. For example, right now I have this test comp, and I have this... I guess it's a composition that had master properties. So I can move this and I can duplicate it multiple times and move this one, maybe right, right next to it and essentially create a weekly weather forecast, right? But the cool thing about it, even though it's one composition, it does have master properties. So I can go into one of them and change the master properties. Let's say the day, I can change it to Tuesday press OK. You can see it changed to Tuesday. And then I can change the temperature to 65. And then you'll see 65. And then also this weather, this icon right here, I can change it to something like snow. And you'll see snow. I can change it to cloudy. You'll see cloudy. And all that stuff animates. It's very dynamic. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set all of these things up. So definitely download the project file and let's go right into it.